Hey, all right, lads. Here we are. I know. Croydon Magistrates Court. The moment you turn up, I've got a smile on my face. <laughs> right, Nathan. So tell us the tell us the story about why you've had to come to court today. Right. So I'm standing outside here waiting to go to court today due to the fact that police were ultra violent at a protest that I was at. Uh, friends of mine got pushed over. And three. <laughs> and we got it. And we got it. One nearly got his head smashed against railings. One of my artworks got smashed. You're on camera abusing your authority! You're on camera abusing your authority! I've already created a new artwork which I brought along as evidence to prove that I'm still continuing with my art and protest and they're not going to stop me basically. <laughs> That's brilliant. I love it. It's bright, isn't it? You can't miss it. Yeah. The badge numbers in the clause. Yeah, the badge numbers. This is, I'm going to try and get this in as evidence. Uh, the last territory of democracy and freedom. And there's the fat of the land holding the cops badge numbers in the clause. I love it. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> there's no other way I could have gone about this. This is the perfect way to respond to being brutalised by the cops with art. You're an artist, you had your art destroyed, and then BAM! Revenge! I love it. Perfect response. Just find the truth, art needs to be protected at protests, because if they start attacking peaceful artists on the streets, then no one has a chance. Nobody has a chance. And yeah. I've always said to police, I've always viewed if my art ever does get destroyed at a protest, seeing as, as I'm so peaceful, I view it as just akin to burning books. Uh, like the time of Nazi Germany and in the time of the Communists. So that's exactly how I view it, and that will be my take today in court. I've got the destroyed one with me as well. And there's the destroyed one. Now, who would want to destroy a piece of artwork like that? It says love is the law on it. It says love is the law. Has a policeman meditating, and the TSG riot police tore it out of your hand and destroyed it while they arrested you for existing, basically. Yeah. How dare you be there? Yeah. How dare I walk the streets and try and make it a little brighter for everyone? You do make the streets a lot brighter, you really do, and I love that nothing's going to make you stop either. I think every painting I'm ever going to do at this point for protest has got to, it's got to have a really bright yellow in there somewhere. It's just yeah. Got, you know, it has to bounce. Yeah. This one's actually neon. It actually glows if you take it to a club. Oh, really? Yeah, it glows. <laughs> <laughs> so does my other one. <laughs> uh, that's cool. It's neon paint, yeah. It really made me angry to see you going through that that day, to see an artist attacked like that. My channel is all about supporting artists who are freedom-minded. And uh, as soon as I saw that, I just had a, had a really emotional response to it. Seeing the art, beautiful art, well, ripped so out of your hands like that. There's like eight, 9,000 views on the original video now. Yeah. And there is not, there's, there's one comment out of hundreds that states there should be more police powers. Yeah. And so are you going to try and push for criminal damage because of the destruction of without, your artwork? Yeah, without a doubt. Yeah. 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 So yeah. it will definitely be a no guilty for me today because the police violence was something I never expected to see against such a small protest group. Yeah, it was... Com the police numbers were huge. Yeah, there was loads of them, and I saw they were pushing old men with grey hair to the yeah. ground all around you, yeah. and so you just retreated to get away yeah. from them because you wanted to be safe, basically. Yeah. But that meant entering the road. Yeah. And then, obviously, then the policeman then decides to point me out, and then that's it, I'm taken down about ten seconds later. Get back! You're on camera, mate! Get back! You're on camera number three, two, three, four! Get number back. three, seven, get seven, back. three! Number two, oh, eight, oh! Number two, 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 five! Well, if they're going to say that you're holding a weapon when you're holding the shard well, of your frame well, in your I mean, hand... To them, I actually, I actually do have weapons with me at this moment. Oh, right, I, yeah, I yeah. You're all tooled up, so man. I am literally tooled up at this moment, <laughs> which is bizarre, but there we go. According to the police, I'm tooled up right now. Yeah, yeah. I'm still going to walk in the court with it because it's absolute nonsense. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> absolute nonsense. It's crazy. The annoying thing about that is when the cops said to you, um, well... We, in, in the van, they said the cops said to you in the van afterwards that they knew you didn't have a weapon, but they, they did. thought that maybe you did because of the frame or whatever. They said something about that, but they had the op, op, they had the option to 
de-arrest you if they wanted to. Yeah, exactly. That option is always there if no, they know, know they've made a huge mistake. I know. So what did they say to you in the van exactly? Basically, they were, yeah, they basically said, well, it, it could have been a weapon because I questioned them on why they shouted twice, he's got a weapon, he's got a weapon, as I was slammed to the floor. And I remember when I was face down on the floor, I literally said to them really quietly, I'm calm, I'm calm. What do you mean? I've got, I haven't got no weapon. And then when I got into the van, I then questioned him on it again. And he said, oh, no, no, we know you didn't have a weapon and that you weren't going to use it as a weapon. So they did verbally state that. But now that's what they're going with in my counter against them in the complaint. They're now stating that that, that was the reason for the arrest. That was the reason that. for the arrest. So they were blatantly arresting you before you had a shard in your hand. Oh, without a doubt. <laughs> yeah. They knew they were going to arrest me. Yeah. 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 Scumbags. They try and turn a piece of art into a weapon like that when obviously art is a weapon. Yeah. But not in that sense. You don't hit people with it, you get inside their heads, and that's what you do so brilliantly. Yeah, it's ironic that they tried to say your art is a it weapon. It is ironic, it is, mm. yeah. And it hasn't done me any harm as an artist either. No, it's given you loads of ideas. It's given me a lot of ideas, yeah. <laughs> Just walking along this morning. <laughs> I'm gonna get swarmed. Checking up. I've just been taking photographs of you to get that triumph in the background because it just had the triumph. word triumph no, above, your, above your shoulder. A beautiful bike just oh, pulled up a triumph right over your shoulder. So, <laughs> so I've been filming that. It kind of was a triumph today. Exactly, yeah. it was. You spoke brilliantly, mate. And we're outside the Royal Standard. The Royal, Royal Standard, Standard, yeah. Triumph bike. Yeah, man. But yeah, we just got to wait and see what happens now. So.